Okay, in this video I'd like to talk a little bit about the distribution of time in sediments and sedimentation rates. So I have here a stratigraphic column representing a turbidite. If you don't know what a turbidite is, I recommend looking at my video that describes those. Um, observation of, tur of turbidity currents show that these can be flowing hundreds of kilometers an hour um, and travel for hundreds of kilometers. And so um, when they slow down, they tend to deposit sediment very quickly. So if you actually are looking at this, the bulk of this particular turbidite, this part of it might be deposited in an hour. So that's about 30 centimeters in one hour. So the rate of deposition might be something like 30 centimeters per hour. Okay. When you get to the silt that's settling out, that's from what's left over from the turbidite, and that might be hours or even a day uh, for itself. So let's just say, in this case, because it's easy to buy, let's say that this is uh, 20 hours here for 5 centimeters of sediment. So that would be um, a rate of about uh, 5 centimeters and 20 hours is about 0 0.25 centimeters per hour. So it's a couple orders of magnitude to slower deposition rate. Now the shale or mud that settles out between turbidites it is um, coming from mud that's suspended in the water. And it's a very, very slow accumulation rate. The details of that rate depend to each amount on the supply of mud. Let's say that here we have 10 centimeters of shale, and that might represent 100 or 1,000 years. So um, we'll say a hundred years and not hours in this case. So the rate here would be um, 10 divided by uh, 100 is 0 0.1 centimeters per year as opposed to per hour. And there are roughly on the order of 10 to the fourth um, hours per year, I think it's actually 7,700 some, something like that, but the rate in centimeters per hour would be something like 0 0.00001 centimeters per hour. So if you look at a sequence of shales and turbidites, you have this variable distribution of rock and time. And that doesn't we haven't talked yet about erosion at the base of this turbidite. Here, you have missing rock. From the uh, erosion and an unknown time missing. Thus, just by looking at this one example, you can tell that the distribution um, the sedimentation rates and the distribution of time and rock are not constant. Thanks for watching.